My dear friends, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 SDK tutorial. And in today's video, I want to talk about the conversion from a 2020 project to a 2024 project and why I don't really recommend it doing it in the, in the first time because it may have some difficult and some nasty stuff to solve. So let's dig into, into this. And for this tutorial, I have um, copied the, um, the scenery I wanted to, to convert, <laughs> not really I want, and uh, into the 2024 uh, community. And uh, the scenery is uh, Mamu Design Airport LIDU, which is my home airport. So let's load into the airport and let's see how it looks now. Okay, now I have loaded into the scenery and as you can see, we have some major flows. Uh, we have duplicated hangars, the, the one, the bigger on the back is my hangar from my scenery and uh, the one in the front is uh, uh, one is is the default hangar and it's, it's a very, very strange default hangar because uh, as you can see, it has uh, the same logos of my hangar and uh, Here's another one, and this one is uh, is from a local company. It's from a very small company that has uh, its business into this very hangar. So it's really strange that Microsoft have uh, these things, and we're gonna discover why later. Uh, so we have duplicated hangars, and uh, we have uh, uh, this um, this problem in the terraforming. Okay, that's all, these are all the different we need to fix. So you're gonna think, uh, what if I open the 2020 project into 2024? I don't recommend doing it because the 2024 project, once you compile it, uh, it will uh, um, convert all uh, the models or your custom 3D models to the 2024 LODs system. And uh, it is a very complicated system and, uh, well, not really complicated and, and not really new, I would say, uh, but this will most likely break all your, um, all your buildings because uh, you may have not added LOD when it was needed. Do you? I'm not especially in the scenery, which was the very first one I did. So my advice is to fix the problem of the scenery directly into MFS 2020. And I show you what you need to do for this specific scenery. So in this case, uh, you see this, that we have uh, some um, custom buildings here. And how do the build those buildings come from? So if you turn on the debug model LODs, okay. yeah. every part of the building has, uh, is an object. Everywhere you see this, uh, this writings, so that one is an object, a real object, is not uh, um, an auto-generated object. So all those objects come from uh, um, a giant uh, package that Microsoft has put into 2024 and is related to gliders worldwide or something like that. And uh, all this building can be excluded with the, with the polygon. So to make an example, uh, if we go to this house, this house is uh, auto-generated. As you can see, there is uh, no, no writings in it, no nothing. Uh, all this building needs uh, an exclusion rectangle. So to fix this scenery in uh, 2020 for 2024, we need to add an exclusion rectangle uh, with exclude library object to remove all those buildings from uh, all those um, added buildings from our uh, scenery. Next stuff that we have to do basically is uh, uh, to understand why we have this problem in uh, terraforming and. Uh, if you get to the the back at the rain, the back shapes, you will see that, uh, uh, of course, by enabling the draw package name, so you can know where this shit come from. And you can see that this come from, 
Oh, it's difficult to read because uh, maybe. Okay, uh, this comes from, from Microsoft Scenery Gliders Worldwide, the yellow one. And the yellow one is exactly, is exactly where the terraforming is. So in our uh, um, exclusion rectangle, we're gonna include also polygons. And including polygons, uh, we will uh, remove uh, the terraforming polygons. So let's see if we can fix this all the way up in uh, the 2020 scenery. Okay, now I'm, I've loaded my project in 2020 and I need to add the exclusion rectangle. So I'm gonna add an exclusion rectangle. Okay, in my case I can make it the same size of the airport because I don't have any other objects around. And in its properties, I want to remove library objects and polygons. Okay, now everything's fine. I'm gonna save this and save scenery and build it. It was like three or four years that I didn't, I don't build this scenery. So let's see. Oh, I, I have my scene in my model lib. This is the very first one. Okay, great, no errors, and it's done something in the placement. Okay, nice. Now let's copy this into 2024, and let's see how it looks like. I have loaded up into 2024, my 2020 package, and as you can see, it didn't go as expected. And the, the gap has, has been removed because uh, the, the, the shape, the, the the, the polygon terraforming has been removed by our exclusion rectangle. In fact, in fact, if we enable the back shapes, uh, this one is uh, um, is my is my is from my package um, airport LID. However, uh, the exclusion rectangle didn't uh, fix the, the buildings, and this is because uh, those stuff. Uh, are not library objects that we have excluded with the exclusion rectangle, but are the new simprop objects, simprop container. They are the new simprop container. And we can't remove those from a 2020 project. And that can be a problem, but we are smart and we can solve it in a, in a smart way. And the smart way is creating a new project and this will be LIDU 2024, 2024 fix. I'm gonna create a new project very fast package. Next is gonna be a custom project, LIDU 2024 fix and LIDU 2024 fix. This is the RT, but it will work. And placement and create and placement view inspector and load into the editor and now using the objects we're gonna add an exclusion rectangle where are you buddy here and they are gone and in the exclusion rectangle we're gonna use only simprop container and as you can see, we don't need the simprop container. Only my original bidding are there. Okay, those fucking gliders, where do they come from? Maybe they are sim objects. Yeah. And they are sim objects. So maybe we're gonna add an exclusive sim objects in uh, our former 2020 package for those. And, uh, um, and of course, for the, um, for the double wind sock here. Uh, okay, that's all. I'm gonna save this scenery. Yeah, pack a search scenery placement and LIDU 2024 fix. Uh, save, build this. And we are there. So we're gonna rebuild, the, put this into community and you will see that the default building won't be there anymore.
Okay, so I have loaded up again 2024 with my fix for 2024 and the fixed 2020 version inside uh, the, the community of uh, 2024 limit last community and I have my former 2020 scenery and the fix for 2024 um, eliminating, eliminating removing the sim prop objects and this is enjoyable and that's really took 10 minutes to do and why you say why then didn't you fix it directly in 24 opening your project in 24 and um, i'm gonna show you why right now okay now i want to show you a conversion of a 2020 project into a 2024 project and i went to a very well known airport for those of you who are in the channel and it is LADL, Lignago. So I have copied uh, my, my former 2020 version to a 2024 folder. And now I'm gonna open it. Yeah, this is the 2020 version and it's a 2024. It's a copy. Okay, now it's asking us to upgrade the sim objects. So let's see what's inside. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Okay, great. Load. I have upgraded also my model lib. And now I'm gonna load this into the editor. Here it is. Inspector and loading editor. Okay. Okay, so now I can see any of my uh, 3D custom 3D buildings, and in fact, they are unknown. Uh, it used to be uh, a custom 3D building, and this is because we need to build, actually, to rebuild the project. And I'm gonna press build all. Yes. And there is another difference, as you may notice, the. Um, the grass here is a different color because in the in the older area there was uh, some um, uh, some clouds from the aerial images and they have masked them but the color of the coloration in 2024 is a little bit different so this is why you see the the green there okay now it seems to have done uh, pretty much everything 21 done okay I see objects coming and here they are and guys this is the problem you're gonna have if you have been a good boy your object won't disappear if you have been a bad boy so you have not worked correctly as the SDK wanted you the 2020 SDK wanted you to work you will have problem with all of these you see that it popped away and if we can go further, they will all pop away. And this is because, well, the scenery was freeware and uh, I was not very paying attention to what I was doing. It was a favor for a friend and it was a bench stance for some technology of mine. And uh, I didn't do proper lots. And in fact, if I was in the back model lots, you can see they are all zero. And um, LIDL, yeah, of course, <laughs> zero for all of them. Uh, I think the only one I made a lot for was the, the cones. And I used the enlargement cube trick for the cones because I want to see cones from uh, very far. But for all the other stuff, uh, I didn't make a lot. And 2024 wants you to make proper lots. And this is the reason I told you before that uh, you don't really want to upgrade your 2020 scenery unless you have a gun pointed on your head and, and unless you have you really need the 2024 features in your 2020 scenery because yeah if we didn't do proper lots your object will pop away see you in next video and uh, I'm gonna explain to you how to deal with the, this problem. And 
and you will not like the answer. See you soon, bye! And remember to join our Discord, it's free and you find a lot of people that uh, will uh, help you dealing with uh, the stuff. <laughs> See you, bye bye!